is it still worth it to become a developer? Is this something that you want to do, to have interest in? In this video, I'm going to cover everything about the tech industry and becoming a developer to help you out and make that decision. Let's get into it. So let's start with the main concerns. This is what I see all the time from new people trying to switch careers. Number one is age. People think that they are too old for this. The truth is that if you're anywhere between 27 years old to 55 years old, you're fine. Okay. I keep seeing people that are like 38, 39, about to be 40 talking about, is it too late for me? Trust me, you're fine. I've seen people get hired up to 55 years old. So yes, you're fine. Number two is the technical background. People always think that you need to be good in math. You need to be an expert. You need to be coding since the age of 14 years old, a techie guy, someone that knows everything about computers, right? And maybe even have a degree or maybe have some type of background in this type of field to be able to get a job as a web developer and the truth is that guess what you don't need a degree okay you also don't need a lot of math to do this stuff if you know the basics pandas if you know that you're good to go now this is the three questions i'm going to ask you number one how much are you making right now if you're making less than fifty thousand dollars you definitely should consider learning how to code there's so many opportunities that you can go and learn and actually go and make more money than what you're doing right now. Now, the next thing that I will say is, if you are making more than $50,000, ask yourself, how long did it take me to actually get to this point in my career and my job? Now, you might say, well, maybe I'm earning $80,000, right? But I've been doing this in this blank industry, you fill it in, for the last 10 years. Guess what? With development, if you do 10 years, you're going to be making way above $80,000. Shoot, there's people that come in on their first job with two months of training, sometimes three, sometimes four. But guess what? Within that time frame, they can actually go in and land a position that's 65,000 to 85,000. If we go and compare that to like a teacher or a lot of the jobs that's out here, like social worker or shoot, you fill in the blank of all the bullshit jobs that's out here. And I can tell you it takes four years of school, takes time for them to even go and start making like $80,000. You can actually be making this with just a couple of months. Not even years of training, just a few months. Now, the next thing that I'm going to ask you, do you see growth within whatever industry you're doing right now or whatever type of jobs you're working at or gigs? Do you see any growth? Like, do you see yourself being a manager, right? Do you see yourself owning a business? Is that something that you could see doing in the next couple of years? You got to ask yourself that. If you're not seeing that, then going into the route of learning to code, learning web development might be the best way for you to actually grow. Okay. I'll give you a great example. You can come in, get started working at a company, and let's say at the low end, you're making $70,000, $75,000. You do six months there, you get experience, you learn some more skills. In six months, you could be making $95,000. Now, you do a year there, right? And the following year, you go in and you start applying for the next role, bigger companies, enterprise level companies, and you could be making one hundred and thirty dollars and up with some bonuses, with some stock options, great benefits, right? And that's just the route of working for someone. Guess what? This skill that you learn as a developer, you can actually put it to work for you. The same things that you're doing for a company, right? Let's say you're earning 75,000, you can go in and freelance on the side and you can actually make another 30, 40, $50,000. That's just a freelancer route. Now let's talk about actually setting up your own business, your own company where you're actually working with either other businesses to build their websites directly, or you're building software as a service, meaning that you could take this skill and actually grow within this industry. Now, let's talk about the industry itself. Some people might think that only companies that are creating software, creating mobile applications, or creating social media, they're the ones hiring. The truth is that there's a whole bunch of different companies out here hiring. There's companies that are dealing with car dealers. There are companies that are actually selling e-commerce products like t-shirts, hats, sneakers, right? Um, there's companies that are entertainment companies that need help with their website, their content. There's universities, there's government institutions, right? You go to the DMV website, guess what? Someone has to manage that website, 
Okay, someone has to go in and put the pictures on ESPN. Someone has to go in and put the new and latest trailer for the new season of Loving Hip Hop, for example, right? So there's a whole bunch of companies that need people with the skills of knowing how the web works. So you're not confined to just one single industry, every single industry that's out here that's hiring for developers at every different level from junior people just starting people doing basic work to people doing more complex work so in there you have a huge range where you could fit in and not only that that your background could actually help you even land a position even faster i give you a great example one of my students from codingphase.com he was a teacher i think in boston massachusetts right from there he went in and actually decided, you know what? I'm tired of teaching. I'm not earning enough money. I'm not actually getting any respect. You know how kids are nowadays, right? You've seen those videos on social media. Guess what? He don't want to be a teacher no more. He wants to do something else. So what he did was he learned the skills of the web, right? Learn how to code, learn the foundation of it. He's not even an expert. He's just someone that knows how the web works and knows how to manage a website. And guess what? He applied to the Board of Ed of Boston, Massachusetts. And then from there, he was able to now find a job opportunity within the Board of Ed because he was a teacher. So the same thing that this individual did, you can do the same thing. Sometimes people don't understand that when you're switching careers, you're coming in with knowledge and experience for certain industries. Now what you're doing is switching departments. So this is something that you want to keep in mind. If you're still on the fence of like, man, should I switch careers into tech? You got to start thinking about these things that I just mentioned. Now, the million dollar question, and that is, when do I start? And how do I begin and where to actually go and learn the skills? Well, I'm going to start off with this. First of all, you want to start today. You don't want to leave this for another day. You don't want to leave this for another week. You don't want to leave this for another year. This is something that if you start today, right, you can actually see results by the end of the month. If you start today, you can go in and get on this path. Now, again, this is not a race. This is a marathon. Guess what? Not everybody here has equal time that is free. For example, some of you guys have kids. Some of you guys have relationships. Some of you guys have jobs that really take your time. And guess what? You might not be able to go in and put all the hours that someone who doesn't work or is, you know, maybe 20 years old, has no kids, don't even have a girlfriend. He could spend all day on this, right? But What's important is the end goal that somebody can go in and get this done in a month, two months, and that maybe you, you have to do four months, six months. That's fine. Okay. Because this is not a race. This is a marathon. This is for you to actually go and complete this task and actually go in and get into a new career. So then by next year, you should be good. You should have a whole different lifestyle. Now, for those that actually go in and have extra time and put in the work, guess what? You can see results by the end of the month and you can actually start applying to jobs as soon as like six weeks. So yes, there's some people that's going to take a little bit longer and yes, some people is going to do it faster because of the extra time that they have. And that's totally fine. Now, where do you actually go and learn these skills? Well, you have free resources like here on YouTube, right? You also have very cheap courses in some platforms or even influencers who sell a course. Then you also have the middle, which is where I'm at with my company, Coding Phase, where we actually provide you with all the courses that you need. And we also give you group coaching. We actually search for job opportunities for you, help you in the process of building your portfolio. We give you the projects that you need to build. And guess what? We've been doing this for seven years to help people get into the tech industry. So we understand how to actually help you out. So again, this is not a company that just started yesterday. This is a company that's been around for seven years literally helping people just like you get into the tech industry okay now of course there's the next tier which is boot camps or you know call on call premium services that's charging five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars seventeen thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars right charge a very high premium those places to be honest with you 
if you're going to spend that type of money, I'd rather you just go back to school, go get a computer science degree. Okay, it makes more sense. At least leave out of there with a bachelor's degree. Now, if you don't have the time to spend four years or two years to get a bachelor's degree, the best option is really codingphase.com. If you haven't checked this out, the links is in the description, right? We also give you a discount when you click on the link of the description. But this is the website, codingphase.com. Okay, in here you will see some of the companies that hire some of our students, right? You also see some of the questions that we asked in here in this uh, video and we answer them, right? More information about the industry, the type of jobs that you're going to be doing, right? What's our core mission? How this program is going to help you out? You can see the timeline of how you're actually going to come in. Start with getting entry level job positions like content editor, web producer, webmaster, email developer, Shopify developer, and then continue to grow from there as a junior developer doing front end, doing back end, right? Becoming a mid level developer where you become a PHP developer, Node.js developer, React developer, right? And even to becoming a senior level developer, we have you covered on codingphase.com to help you out in this journey. And of course, you can see some examples here of real people that we have helped get into the tech industry in the Hall of Fame, okay? It's very simple. You're gonna see all type of guys and girls that came through you know, adults, right? People that even had computer science degrees or even went to boot camps and somehow those places failed them. They still came to us and we helped them out. And people who have never even done this before, right? And this is the first time doing it. Guess what? We've been able to help them out. Okay. Now, again, you will see a lot of things in here, right? Everything that comes included with coding face, right? Over 90 plus courses, tech accelerator program, uh, 12 hours of group coaching, uh, career paths, curated jobs lists, interview questions lists, recommended portfolios, unlimited portfolio review, access to the private community. Again, over $10,000 in value. But guess what? You don't have to spend $10,000 to get access to all of this value and all of our services on codingphase.com. You literally just pay the same price that you will pay for a gym membership or you will pay for a cable bill on a monthly basis. That's it, okay? If you need a month, just pay for a month. If you need six months, pay for six months. If you need a year, pay for a year. Guess what? And get it even cheaper every time that you go in and go up an extra tier, right? By the six months or yearly, you're gonna be saving not only the discount that we're giving you below, but also too, you're gonna be saving around another 30%. So again, is this career worth it to you? That's something that only you can answer. And especially after going over all of those questions that I asked you in this video, right? If it makes sense, okay? Me personally, I can tell you that me becoming a developer changed my life. I was able to take care of my family, buy a home, right? Buy the dream cars that I wanted, right? Take care of my family in Dominican Republic, take care of my family in New York, right? I take care of a lot of people, right? I'm trying to help out as much as I can. But I can tell you that I wouldn't be able to do that with a regular job. I, I don't think so, right? And most companies and, and businesses that's out here, like, you basically get worked to death. With this, at least you have a skill that you can put to work for yourself. You can work for companies. You can work directly with clients. You can even build your own company, right? So at some point, you unplug from the matrix. And that's something that we also discuss in codingphase.com, how you can actually monetize the skills so you don't stay working for somebody for the rest of your life. That's the beauty of development. That it's like a skill, same way as someone who does construction or, um, you know, tile work or woodwork. Like, guess what? This is something that you could do with your hands that you can actually sell to other people or sell that service or work for somebody until you get to build your own business. That's what I love about development. Okay. So, guys, uh, make sure you click on the link on the description, click on this video, right? Same thing. Go to codingphase.com if you guys want. Um, and again, you can also even book a session with me. Like if you are concerned about anything about the service or you have any questions and you want me to look at your situation to see if this will help you, guess what? Book a call with me, right? Come to Coding Face, just scroll all the way to the bottom, click on book a call, come in. 
I have open dates, right? You can come in, choose any time, right? I even do Sundays, right? For those of you guys that can't do it throughout the week, guess what? Book one of those two time slots, right? So, yeah, man, take advantage. So, if you want to get into this, get into it now. Don't wait for another year. Don't wait six months. You want to get started now because at the end of the day, you're going to be able to get to your goals quickly if you get started, right? If you leave it for last minute, guess what? <laughs> it's just going to be there as a dream instead of being a goal. All right, guys. So I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Take care.